All right, if you want to create an equation to use in your blog or anything else, um, Google Docs has a tool you can do. You can click on Add-ons, click on Get Add-ons. These are things that don't come standard with Google Docs, but you can add them to it. You're going to click on something called GMath. If you don't find it right off the bat, just search for it. Um, and it's going to say free if you haven't uh, downloaded it before um, or installed it. So you'll click on free and then give it click allow to give it permission to be used in Google Docs and then you'll see it up here in uh, under your add-ons. You won't have to download it more than once and then you can go up to create math expressions and what's really neat about this is uh, that you can actually let's you can take um, this little thing is called LaTeX. It's a computer language for writing uh, equations. If you scroll down here, you see all these parts of equations that you can write. If I want to make a fraction, I can click on this fraction, and you'll see fraction A, B, and this weird kind of little thing with the slash. Down here, <coughs> it shows you what it's going to look like. So if I want to do a fraction like 3 fits, I replace the A and the B. But you can actually put more than just one number. I can say 3 plus. Uh, 6 uh, over 5 minus 2 and then if I click outside of that I can say minus uh, 7. Um, you can go through and add square roots and cube roots maybe I want to add a, make the cube root of 64 as my numerator so I'm going to go where the A originally was and click on this cube root um, or this square root and you replace you see this little N down here you can erase that and put a 3 if you want to do cube root if you don't want to, if you want to do square root just erase that all together and replace your a square root of 25 um, and then I go a little outside that bracket plus 3 over 5 minus 2 minus 7 so you can do all sorts of things um, I think with exponents you can just say plus a uh, x to the replace the a with a 3 or a 4 and that gives you plus 10 to the fourth um, or you can even just write it 10 to the fourth shift 6 to, for that and then you click insert. Um, if its size is too small, you can delete it and then change the size, maybe 55, and then insert it. Oh, that might be too big. Let me try 25, see what that looks like, and insert it. Uh, too small. And so you find the one that you want. And you can, I believe you can just copy Command C and paste it into your blog. But if you can't, you'll notice that down here behind this little inline wrap text thing, there's a link. You can click on that link. Um, and then copy this URL. Just a reminder on the blogs, you can just do um, upload from a URL and paste it there and insert it. Or if it works to copy it, uh, Command C, Command V, it works like that as well. So hopefully that'll make your, your blogs a little bit clearer. You can add some equations um, and use this in any other context that you want.